Welcome to That Comic Smell Podcast. With your host, David Robertson, Fernando Pons, Giuseppe Labutino, Mike Sadaka, and Tom Stewart, with special guest, Alan Lawson. How are you? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. I forgot that you kind of all bring goodies to this one. Yes. Well, I'm a biker. It's plenty, so. (laughs) It's good that there's another (laughs) mouth. <laughs> that hasn't brought anything because it just ends up being ah. Is that Muhammad Ali? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, you. Yeah, I've got to Well, is that a contest? I thought, I thought they made the death of Superman, but I knew someone, everyone about coconut, would have it, so you brought that. No, and I think Tom has it as well. So. Yeah, I've also got the death of Superman. Yeah, just got it over there. Yeah. I mean, did they really make a, a full story out of this? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, it ain't even a contest. Well, no, there is a contest. They, 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 they work that out. Superman cannot use superpowers in this. So how does he, like, draw the line between... Oh, shit, I just edged up the superpower line. Something happens to him. Mm. Ah, he's, he's, he's an the... alien. Oh, is he... Uh... So it's not like a case of he's restraining himself. No. Right. He's got the strength of a normal human. You should really ditch the costume, then, surely. Well, in the, in the original comic that I remember, I thought um, Muhammad, he, he, it was dis- he, Superman distracted, Muhammad Ali hit him a punch, which would which would have knocked out a regular person, so yeah. Superman figured, oh, I'll, I'll go down. Superman. I've, I've been reading my, my really old ones from when I was a kid. Yeah. I've read them for decades, enjoying it. So, have you got lots? Lots oh, of I've got some. I brought a few. Mm-hmm. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let's yeah. have a look. I didn't more. really have a lot of a the Superman actual screen. Superman comics. See, I'm I was like, it was more the film mm-hmm. and the posters yes. that got me into it. So that's been probably me as well, but then I went and bought some of the comics at that time. And they were. Um, oh, look at that! That looks like it's got some edge. So this is Superman Pocketbook, Egmont Publishing. Nice. And this has got a great story. Do you remember the the bottle bottle city of Candor? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was never in the films. It's one of the cities that's on Krypton that survived, and it's shrunk into a ball. Superman keeps it in a ball. Didn't know that. It's never in the film. I think it was a bit too far out. But this was a great story where. So, in in the comic, yeah, there's a city called Candor, yeah, that survives the Krypton yeah, explosion yeah. by yeah, yeah, reducing itself exactly. into a a bottle size, yeah. a bottle a bottle city of Candor. <laughs> I like that. Also, what's that because Brainiac? Yeah, the dark Knight three had him um, to Krypton. Oh, Brainiac just and took Candor, mm-hmm. and, right. to and then the the Superman. Later, right. rescue candle from the sands and they kept uh, it. But they know how to make it big again or where to make it big, big again. No. Is that another case? I can't remember. Well, it's been, it's been I, I never several things, but yeah. I think that's, that's why he survived. He, he because he crisp Brainy oh, okay. came before the destruction of Krypton and okay. as a collector. Yeah, that was in so. Dark Knight 3, wasn't it? Yeah. Did they mention it in Dark Knight 3? There's a mention of that. There's yeah. a mention yeah, of that in the comics as well. And um, Superman's daughter with Wonder Woman, Lara, I think it was. Mm-hmm. But that's like Kurt Swan. Kurt, Kurt Swan drew this great Superman artist. And in this one, he finds a way to... What period would that be, that guy? Uh, this is like late 70s, like the movie time. Right. So he, he manages to bring the city back to what it is. Oh, honestly, cool. You know. mm. nice. Oh, that'll blow my son's mind if I tell him, actually... 
a city survived and it shrunk yeah. into a ball and it did not get destroyed. Because oh, no, he's Brainiac. already said to me, he's but already. But Brainiac. Because he's heard now the Supergirl. He's heard the Supergirl, but he's like, well, <laughs> Krypton blew up. Where, where's Supergirl come Supergirl's from? Supergirl's mom and dad live in Kandor, so there's like an, an emotional reunion in everything. Yeah. And then Superman's thinking, this is great, but it's a pity my parents are dead. Yeah, I know, I know. So, I mean, reading this when I was young, you got well into it. You know. In fact, the sequence between it growing and then, of course, it all goes wrong. You know, it all starts collapsing and all that. And I thought, oh, the trauma of this was terrible. But then I reread it there, and it all happens over like one page. You know, they go from it being back to collapsing in, in like one, one and a half pages. So that story told nowadays will fit in like six issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So then, with a uh, decompression <laughs> nonsense <laughs> but it's good I, I enjoyed this one again and then the one in the middle is the Justice League story which is good as well about Green Lantern and I remember this bit they get captured and in order to get out of the cage Superman you know the, the flash vibrates mm -hmm. so much that mm -hmm. he can go through things yeah so Superman does it as well it. and the two of them do it and it's like almost out of control you know mm -hmm. so that was good uh, all right else? so that's like three or four issues reprinted in, in yeah there. oh there's like a hundred pages in this all <laughs> oh, right I remember the these costs seem 75p which was bloody extortionate in 19. It's or 1980. I mean, it was unbelievable. Yeah, in 1980, that, that you would have got Star Wars Weekly for 12 pence. Right. So that was your regular comic price. And this was 75. So I remember <coughs> I got like one or two of these as a special date, you know. You like deluxe item. That, well, well, yeah. And, and at full colour, you know. Well, that's the thing. That was amazing that's the well. thing. It's the full colour as well. It's I, I like that girl like Grodd. I always remember yeah. having a gun. That's great. I've mm -hmm. so never that, seen him in that style. No. So that was it. That was the that first one. That that's I, beautiful. Nice little bit there. Oh, let's have a look at the back. What is it? Don't miss. It's like also Batman pocket books. I remember I had one of them. Oh, I, I like that advert. It's mm. nice. And that, that classic Joker with it. You know, with the yeah. fish. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Love that. Was that the fish with a smile on it? Mm. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to shoot you, Batman. <coughs> He's fish. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a nice little one. Now, this uh, this next one is probably the oldest one. It's not even got the cover anymore. Oh, I, I kept it's still, it's still in a bag, but it's, the cover's long gone. <laughs> April 1978. Do you know what the cover looks like? I've looked it up Have online looked it up, right. and I did see it. And oh, it's got the uh, it's no got the uh, hmm. we'll that supermobile. Yeah. Now that's the whole point of this story. To sell that. <laughs> yeah, Superman. <laughs> Superman. Uh, the whole story where the Krypton. There's like kryptonite in the atmosphere, you know, and it's reached Earth. All oh, right. So Superman's got to go around in this <laughs> fighting crime in this supermobile. Mm. Ah, oh, and it's gosh. got all the powers that he's got. That's the toy I've got. Yeah, he's got a fist, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got a fist. Press yeah. a button and he's ready. Fist come out. Have you brought it? Oh, yes! That's what I brought. Amazing. Oh, right. I forgot to bring I should have brought it. Mine's got a smash chamber, though. So to me, this comic yeah. totally validated this thing. Yeah. You know, and they probably just made the comic because this toy yeah, is yeah, it, yeah. you know? But yeah, as you say, a wee picture of that, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's about. <laughs> For Capri and Post Fest. Amazing. And yeah, he, uh, yeah, he does, he do the, he does the old. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> and, and, he does, and of course they do that. That was it, but we were happy with that one oh, yeah. gimmick. Oh yeah. Absolutely. On that time. Mm. Just they've got a little bit on that. Uh, what was he says? It fought with my night rider and Jitsu Hazard twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, the, the, the bad guys are like that car they're calling it a car that car does everything but sprout a pair of arms <laughs> and, and then it's <laughs> gasp now it does grow arms <laughs> is there no limit to Superman's ingenuity no there isn't <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's ancient the same as this comic and what else is oh, no. Kurt Swan again he was great artist for Superman back in the day 
And oh. again, he's got a wee man shrunken. Matt Bison is not in cool. that good condition. <laughs> this comic, this is one that used before Super it was Bad's keeping comics in. nice. This would just go in the toy box, you know. Yeah. yeah. yeah I've, n next, I've got Superman Annual, 1980. So, Solomon Grundy. Oh, nice. Solomon Grundy. Yeah. That's it. Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. He was another great Superman artist. Yep. I was looking yeah, through this, and the colouring on this thing is mad. Um, so this was good, Solomon Grundy, and this is at the time when you had Earth 2 and, it and all that, and DC, and there was all the different worlds before they got out of all that. See, look at Superman's chest there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's full of it, I don't know why. And the stories in this are really sad. So Solomon Grundy comes to this Earth, because he thinks there's maybe another Solomon Grundy and he's, and he's lonely, so he comes here. So Refresh my memory, because when, when you say Solomon Grundy... This it's, guy here. Yeah, but who's it? sort of like Frankenstein. Oh, right. right. You know, he's white and he, all over and he's very strong. Yeah, born on a Monday and he dies on a Sunday and <laughs> there is this song he always says. Uh, <coughs> and that was like, Solomon yeah. Grundy. Oh, all right. <laughs> But it always comes back. But yeah, it's a sad, uh, traumatized character, and there's a lot of drama with it. Oh right. And it, although it's a body, but yeah, it's kind of like a Frankenstein monster. Mm. They say. Right. So Superman's trying to fight him, and it's it's not working. You know, he's too tough. So what Superman does is he goes and disguises himself as Solomon Grundy, and he goes, "Oh, there's the other Solomon Grundy." And follows him, and and he takes him to the moon. And then he just is like, no, I'm no Solomon Grundy, I'm Superman, takes the mask off and flies off and leaves him on the moon. <laughs> and that's the end of the story. <laughs> so Solomon Grundy's like crying on the moon, you know. Mm. And yeah, yeah, that's the end. <laughs> and then right. sort of the next exciting adventure. <laughs> that was good as well, Lightning Strikes. Uh, and then there was Lois Turned Evil on this one. This is a yeah, job for Another another advert for the pocket books in here. Stay with us. It's never the end. <laughs> Calling all super fans. There's even an editorial bit in here. In here, someone like I guess you've all seen the Superman movie now, eh? Isn't it great? <laughs> <laughs> this is oh. a Superman three adaptation comic. Oh, hmm. I think I might have. Is that the Richard Pryor one? Yes. Yeah, seen yeah. that. This was in. Well, it was obviously in regular shops, like. Aris McCall's no, that, because that's how I got it, you know. And what was great again, I love it when they do this. Oh no, I did have it. They've got Kurt Swan to draw the adaptation <laughs> again, so real Superman artists, I love that. And that scene was freaky in the film when he fights himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not the only freaky bit. Is it Lois Lane who gets turned into a robot? No, yeah, that's a set, set the second one, isn't it? Oh no, the, the, the evil woman with the short dark hair. Yeah, when well, she gets yeah, stood up and turned into that was, like a robot zombie. Yeah, yeah. That freak. That's this she, that's like silver. Here she comes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's good as well. And you know, the 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 dead one of... They did a comic of Superman 4, but they never did one of... The first two films, and I think they should still do it now. They would sell if they brought them up. Oh, no, yeah, see if they got they, Lopez. Yeah, because they could, yeah, they couldn't. That has just reminded me that I think I used to have that, yeah, and I probably don't. did because it was available. And I don't have it anymore, regular show because that first panel where he's, he's talking mm -hmm. in one, yeah, it's yeah, they've even put like a, a classic comic splash like they used to do, it would be like a bit from the story inside. On the first page, yeah, and then they would start the story on page two. They stopped doing that. Now. That's the other thing. I was yeah, that was another reason I didn't want to show my lad Superman three yet yeah, until he's older. Because uh, how do I explain when he's having a fight with himself? <laughs> he doesn't have that concept of yeah uh, of an that. alter ego, you know. Yeah, and, and I mean, I remember being a kid. Like, what the. What you know? What's going on there? Super cretin, Ostrozzo! <laughs> Super cretin, you shithead. That's what he's saying. No, no, no. Ostrozzo means shit. You shit. Wow, well, it ends on a swear. Yeah. Yeah, but knew that. And it's it when, when it, 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 it Did you say that on the phone? I know. I remember him shouting at them. Them shouting at them. He starts oh, marking the that. statues with his. Oh. He's sweeping oh. up. I remember he's he's. 
he straightened up the leaning tower mm. and then he puts it, he puts it back yeah. and, then he, he, and he's changed all these little yeah. models he's selling and he, he starts mm-hmm. smashing them up. I like number three. They did get progressively worse as they went along, didn't they? But I mean, I've read the reviews for number four, I've not seen it yet, but I'll be watching it tomorrow. But, it's, a, um, it's a dog. Yeah. You can leap an eighth of a mile. Yes. Not a mile, an eighth, an eighth of a mile. mile. Ooh, wow. Hurdle, a 20 story building, but if there was a 30. So, what's an eighth of a mile? <laughs> you know, whatever the topic is, do we bring the Alan Moore stuff or not? He's always done the best, and whatever well, the topic is. That's, that's that's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no question. He's so, this work. was like the. Uh, the last Superman story that we did in 1986. Oh yeah, um, I think before I they that. revamped the brand. You know, uh, how did they revamp? Remember, we talked about it when we did Justice League International. <coughs> was how DC revamped the practically everything in about 86 or 87. In 1986 and 87, they did Crisis and Infinite. Oh, Earth. All right, because that's the so year where I moved. Because DC to Italy. DC so universe had several. Earths and oh, right, the okay. Earth One, Earth Two. You have Superman, the and other heroes that fought in the Second World War. You had the up to date modern Superman. So they decided to try to <coughs> make it simpler and more uh, attractive to new readers. Right. So they created this series, Crisis in Infinite Earth. So they, they started with a blank slate after that, tomorrow, tomorrow, and yeah. there was a. New start, and those two were the last Superman stories and Alan Moore before the, the crisis mm-hmm. and the start again. And mm. actually, they're really good. Yeah, are they just like standalone issues or they're just regular, regular issues in yeah. a comic? Mm-hmm. But you can read them as as it was one part one was in Superman, part two was in action comics. And that was all oh, right. So, so it's a two part. Yeah. Did they do a hardback version? Yeah, they've collected all of it. Yeah, I think so. Alan Moore even wrote two or three issues of a comic. I used to like a lot. Vigilante. Did you? Oh, yeah. Did yeah. 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 So he starts this off well when he's talking about Superman, and this was always good. This bit he put. This is an imaginary story, and then you're like, you know, aren't we all? So he's kind of having his cake and eating it there, you know. But there's a, uh, and they've got Kurt Swan back again, so it looks um, like an old Superman story. And George Perry. And George Perry as well. And there's some great stuff in here with Bizarro. Uh, do you know, every so often I think about Bizarro's <coughs> death in this mm-hmm. comic. And do you know Bizarro, he kind of talks backwards and everything. Mm-hmm. And he's on the rampage, he's going nuts, so Superman's trying to find out what's going on with him and stop him, but then he's, but they've just got this final bit of a bizarro dying and then he's lying there and he says, oh, everything, him go dark, hello Superman, hello, <laughs> and that's him dead, I mean it's just, what a line, <laughs> hello yeah. Superman, hello, and, it's, and if you read it, it's tragic that really? he's died and he doesn't know why and that's his funny end line. Yeah. So it all goes along from there. This is where, uh, well, probably you've read this. Mm-hmm. The what? You've probably read this. I don't think so. No, it was collected, as Alan says, it was in a book. It's been in a few books. There's been a, I, I got in the... In the, ah, uh, yeah, the DC, DC Universe Stories, Alan Moore. Yeah. It's in there, with some of the Vigilante as well. That you That's were great for. <laughs> okay, I've got one more, and it's part of my War of the Worlds collection of comics. Because we did a Superman Water of the World. Oh, oh wow. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, this is really Roy nicely done. Roy Thomas writing that there. Michael Lark. What they've done is they've set it in 1938. You know when Orson Welles did the radio uh-huh. mm-hmm. broadcast? Uh-huh. And of course that's when Superman started. Started, yeah. yeah. So they've tied those two things together. So this is, this is set at like the time of Action Comics 1 and all that. So... And it's nicely drawn. It's the War of the World story, but the, the land here and Superman's here, and he starts fighting them. The tripods and all of them. And it's, yeah. it's just really nicely done. Good lord! Mm. Can't get enough water. Good lord, it's so weird. Mm. Michael Lark and is the, really the, good. You know they've got the heat ray. That's a classic. And line. the fire mm-hmm. on on Clark, you know, but it doesn't kill him. 
So this is a really nice comp as well. Nice like on aliens capture Superman. Yeah. What is it deal with? Great. There we go. So that's pretty good. You, you read that one? No, I haven't. Right? No. Nice. Yeah. I like the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah. War of the Worlds. Oh, yeah. That's that's that was really good. I got that one. With Hyde pulling out the, the marsh and going, oh, absolutely, yeah. special old chap, welcome to Earth. Yeah, oh, well, absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> it's the way, that, and, and all the tripods kind of turn and look. <laughs> and, it's and all the like tripods go, <laughs> And then the next page, the old fire on them, like, kill that thing. Thank <laughs> God, it's eating John. <laughs> <laughs> what is the deal with Bizarro? How did that come about? How but he's he... from one of those other Earth... Ah, right, 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 right. And he's like the backwards Superman. This is the opposite from what from what he means. <laughs> he's so happy, yeah. but he's really yeah. He's yeah. 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 big final words. Say so goodbye, say. Alan. Goodbye. <laughs> the, the, of course, there's the other Alan Moore one, the, the, the annual, where the, the oh that'll be in there as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah probably the that like Moko. Look at that. Some there, yeah. Yeah, that that one's heartbreaking as well. That's incredible. For the man who has everything, it's the way he has a whole life on Krypton. Yeah, that it, it never exploded. Who? Oh. 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 You've got to read it. Yeah. That's the annual, is it? Yeah, the Alan the annual, Alan Moore annual. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, it's amazing. A anything like father and son team, you know kills me every time and that right. one is amazing because he he lives his whole life on on Krypton and he's got his son and all that but then he starts realising that that's this, Superman, this, is, this is no real yeah Superman's had a whole life a wife and <coughs> so he he's, he's, he's never been Superman yeah. Yeah. he's never left Krypton he yeah. does not destroy it he has he still has his S though doesn't he it's the family shit in it in yeah so yeah, and then eventually he realizes this is what this is not real. Yeah. Do you know and what was amazing was when he, because this is how the villain has uh, sort of got Superman under control. He's hypnotized him. Yes. He's just, uh, and so Batman is like, oh, I've got to get him out of this. So there's two scenes, there's Batman trying to get him out of it. It's working, great, you know, this is great. And then you've got Superman like, starting to realise, wait a minute, and that scene where he's talking to his son, he's like, you know, I love you, but I don't think you're real. And his son's like, Dad, what are you saying? He's getting scared and everything, you know, and it's just, and then he breaks out of it. And it's, it's just, okay. it is. and you know that line, it's like, uh, he says something like, I love you, you know, I'll never forget you, but I don't <laughs> think you're real. I mean, it's like saying to his son, you know, and then he, and that what always strikes me about that when he says I'll, I'll always remember you something like that it's like man that affects every single Superman comic it's done since yeah, he's yeah. got that memory of his life mm. you know that's been that's good that's been right, kind yeah. of played on the Justice League cartoon except instead of Superman it's a Martian Manhunter and it was Morgan yeah. Le Frey who brainwashed him into thinking he could get his uh, get his wife and child back Right. But he's been tricked. And he actually takes on the rest of the Justice League in this cartoon. It almost wins. Marvel the Frank had that someone who should kill someone with uh swords. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, thank you. It's a good good That's a familiar ah, yeah, that's, that's the one. Yeah. They've used the cover. That's that's a that's a neat one. Nice. So it's uh, so it's, it's slightly bigger than with it being an annual as well. It's that, like the Superman book. three book, right? Yeah, right. That's the way they did annuals in the states. It wasn't hardback books; it was chunkier issues. Great, that, hey? <laughs> yeah. It's a one-off story kind of thing, you know. It's standalone. Yeah. Uh, and Elseworlds. Elseworlds, imaginary tale, aren't they all? <laughs> <laughs> What's that else world? There's <coughs> anything that DC writes that is a one shot. Ah, like the world. website that I found information about the Superman, the movie Bubblegum Cards that I remember as a kid that I really liked, 
He's on the website called Else Else World. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, if if they write a one shot DC story that's not really tied with continuity, that's an Else World. Ah. So like I've got that book through the room that's um ah, the Justice League one in the old west. That's an Else World. Justice League in the Yeah. So that's that's like an Else World. There's loads of them. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, it looks like a nice book, that. Yeah, Have you ever heard of Marvel's What If? <coughs> yes. Yeah, the, yeah. Watcher. the Watcher goes around and he looks at yeah. all the scenarios. So Marvel can be a wee bit braver with who they kill off. It's just like that. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. I, w- I wonder if uh, they use that What If as a kind of... as a testing ground, as a... <laughs> let's throw this at the public and see how they respond. Yeah. Yeah, basically, because they did one. Whether was, they can handle it. They did one with Hulk that ended up becoming it. Yeah. Which was, what if, what if the Hulk had Banner's brain? Mm. Yeah. And then they ended up doing that. They ended up doing that story about maybe three, four years later. Him being smart. Him having Banner's brain. Yeah, it was just the Hulk. I like, think at that time when Marvel initiated what if as a collection, I think they initiated more on the... The questions that the fans were asking to the editor. Ah, right. Because in the comics at that time, you would send your letters and your yeah, questions. Yeah. Like, oh, and you know, maybe they were praising the artist and the story. They were asking, so who who is stronger? Oh, yeah. oh, what would happen if this? Or what would happen if this Sound, didn't happen there? You know, that's what that sounds thing. like my day every day. You must have had it with your boys when we were growing up. Asking. So. So yeah, I think I think probably Marvel started the, the collection saying, well, <laughs> let's look into this. Let's get some events in the Marvel Universe so, yeah. and see um, if we change the event. And, and I think that's how they started. And then from there they developed into other things. But initially, I think that was the, the idea. I right. think. The people still write, do you think, to cut that? Nah, right. They won't write. They have letters pages anymore, do they call it? Yeah, um, yeah. There's still some. Yeah. There's still some comics that do it. Yeah, they just your email or today. Image. One of the questions was, uh, how much stronger is Superman than Ben Grimm? So it was my me, me, me lad took it for granted that Superman is stronger than right. the thing, which yeah. I think he's right. Yeah. In yeah. That. yeah, but he was kind of saying it's it's good because I was saying to him, he ain't always just. One better than the other, one stronger than the other, and so on. He kind of got it that, yeah, he's stronger than him, but not by lords, lords. He put up a fight. Yeah. So I was saying, you know, these are the kind of questions that my mates in the comics group would like. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, it's like, who would win in this in that? You know, like, is she Hulk stronger than Hulk? Hey. Or are they the same? Because in, the, in them cards... Mm. Yeah, holy crow. They're both the same strength. Um, but he's posited all these questions to himself, going, "Oh, who's you know, Superman?" Because he's got Superman in his head now. He's comparing. Oh, you have to say something Superman. about Superman. That, yeah, Superman will be the strongest and the most powerful of all. But because he's really good, he has a conscience. He would never abuse of his mm. power. Yeah, yeah, that's except what. Except against Dark Side. Which I've seen a clip of. There was an animated film. He's been a few. They've been a few films together, but there's one where Superman battles Darkseid, and he makes a point of I've got to hold back no matter what. But I know you can take it, and he just goes all out against Darkseid. There's also <clears throat> there's also that um, game that was made. Uh, God, what's it called? It's a fighting game of the DC characters. And made it into a comic book series. It's um, God's um, Injustice. Injustice, that's it. Injustice, God's Among Us. Mm. Where the Joker kills Lois Lane, Ooh. so Superman goes nuts <laughs> and overthrows the planet <laughs> and becomes like the villain. <coughs> it's basically Batman's got an insurgency and a whole group of heroes that are going up against Superman who's got his own set of heroes. Why did you well, do Joker in? Works well in a game. Well, he did. That's right. what set him over the edge. Works well in a game. It works within a game. Works within a fighting game as well. It's a really good narrative yeah. story. The comic isn't so good. Yeah, I would like to see that. It's a bit dark. 
there's a lot of there's a lot of like accidental deaths and all. Because you're, you're making a comic based on a video game that is based on a comic. Yeah, so exactly. Kind of, uh, the game's really good though. The yeah, you can't do the original, you are filtering that out, and then whatever you get, you're gonna okay. get filtered again. Yeah, so, that, that <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> the little yeah. good <laughs> sediments that you have are kind of. <laughs> it's basically just an excuse to have, like, pet, I don't know, Wonder Woman against Green Arrow or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's just an, an excuse to do that, but it works well as a, as a, as as a video, video game. Yeah, right? I suppose it does. And the, the story is actually really good as it goes through as well. It's uh, it's quite clever, and it's kind of like a, an alternate universe sort of thing that's going yeah. on as well. as a lot of, like, mm -hmm. uh, universe jumping and all that jazz, but, yeah, it's pretty brutal as far as uh, <laughs> Superman goes. He comes across pretty... Uh, scary. <laughs> well, that's the thing about Superman is is and and part of the problem for all the people when they watch Man of Steel. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert: He kills. Yeah. Superman never kills. Mm -hmm. He knows he can kill. He knows he can destroy a whole planet. Man of Steel. Zod. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Oh yeah, General Zod. He also lets, well, yeah, shit, he also yeah, lets thousands upon thousands of innocents. Energy, time. because he would never fight in the middle of the city. He would mm -hmm. take a fight outside the city. That's yeah. the first thing Superman would do. But Man and that's, really takes it to the city. Yeah, he exactly. smashes through everything until he ends up in the city. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the the situation, and you can. I mean, the representation in this universe of Superman is the light, is the goodness, is everything, the moral, um, the standard, <laughs> and, oops, yeah, everything, and then you have Superman as the dark, it's still being a hero, but. You know, he has also his, you know, it's more questionable, he has other things. Mm. Uh, again, Batman doesn't kill either. No, it's got nice mm. uh, But, mm. you know, it's like, no guns, no killing. Exactly. Out, so, out, like, but yeah, it. but as soon as you have Superman behaving in that manner, mm. you don't have light or dark, yeah, as no, they put it into the in the next film. That's the good but thing. anyway. It's kind of difficult to avoid going back to the well too often with a fairly simplistic character like Superman. He doesn't have the, the dark depths of, say, a Batman. So uh, it can get a bit of a parody. It can turn into a bit of a parody sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, to the point of having the fight and, and destroying the city and, and probably killing thousands or mm. how, many, how many people die there and then killing the the sword in the field, that, there, they lost it. That yeah. To me, that is not Superman. I forgot that, they killed, that he killed no. the sword, yeah. Uh, when they, and that's, it's not Superman. No, it's not. No. They can call it Man of Steel, they can call it Clark Kent, Kyle, whatever they want to do, etc. It has the same powers, it's not Superman. Yeah, you've got to, you've you got to stay true to it. I mean, I understand that when you go from one medium to another, you, you change things, you, do, you adapt things for that mm -hmm. medium, but... Those two things are unnecessary. The essence of the character has to, has has to, to be the yeah. same. Yes. Because if not, what's the point yeah. of the yeah. adaptation? What's the point of taking that material? Would DC have had to have off? signed that off? How yeah. does that work? I don't know. Because don't know. you think, obviously... They decided you know, to go that ridiculous well, thing Warner Bros. The when they didn't when they got Warner Bros. Because so Warner Brothers could go on DC. Warner Brothers on DC. All right. So Warner Brothers made a film. They used the DC characters. Do what they want. But they decided to have Zack Snyder to make the film, and obviously they need all the scripts and everything. Yeah. What, what was going to happen? What was, it, was it a Fox movie, 20th Century Fox movie, by any chance? That's what they don't sign it off, you know? Because the DC and Fox are basically no. amalgamated, aren't they? No, it was Warner Brothers who oh. owns DC. Yeah, Fox is a, Fox is a Marvel mm. tie in there. Yeah, it doesn't belong by yeah, it does some Marvel things. Oh, well, Fox Fox is being bought by um Disney. Fox is it's been bought by Disney now, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well there you are, another one. Yeah. <laughs> and they have all the they have all the X Men characters now as well. Mm. So so that's spanked to happen soon enough. Does anybody remember the um the Wally Wood? Um in Mad magazine parody of Superman called Super Duper Man? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> which was which was pretty funny one, but e even a more hard one is um, the Wonder Warthog parody of Superman. Does anybody anybody remember that one? Oh, there was a UK parody on TV called oh. Cooperman. Do you remember it? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, Ross Abbott. Yeah, yeah it's Ross Abbott, Cooper man. Yeah. Have you ever seen yeah. that? Is he at least Tony Cooper hat? Is that the. Well, he had like a. Well, there's a. And it's been. Oh, you'll think. And it's been. And it's been. We have a comic that. And he's still going. And I've got some of them. Super Lopez. And he is. Oh, yeah. It has the moustache and you know it's all a parody of Superman <laughs> and it's been going on for decades in the coming in Spain. Super Lopez. Yeah. Super Lopez, the <laughs> moustache and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and always fighting and, and he gets, you know, black eyes and bloody noses and teeth flying, you know, punches and but yeah, you know. And it comes out, oh that was a big fucking oh, and then I need to go to the doctor and I wonder what's going on in the office and <laughs> that sort of thing. But yeah, it's Super Lopez is great. Do you know, I, I must say, I enjoyed reading these old childhood Superman comics and and uh, I was really thinking of how great Superman is, you know, especially when you're a kid, eh? Yeah. He's like yeah. the superhero, is he? He's the superhero. He's yes. the, the, the ultimate, brilliant. He's the superhero. Of course you get a bit older and you want it to be cooler, you know, you want it, you want him to be a bit more tortured and all that. Like on this t-shirt. Well, yeah, he looks miserable in that yeah. t-shirt, doesn't he? Oh like, yeah, look. Cooperman. Oh, oh. Here we are, Miss Lang. Yeah. Raise your dogs for the next two nights. Oh, Mr. Lopez. Uh, where's Dennis? Where's Dennis? Where's yeah. Dennis? Yeah. We're not at the office. I don't remember him being one of us. I think you can call me. Yeah, he's oh, all right. Yeah. And I'll call you. What's up at my house? <laughs> Mrs. Smith. <laughs> yes, I sincerely hope so. We're <laughs> supposed to be a married couple. Exactly, Miss Lamb. So I'll just uh, see about getting a sign in, shall I? <laughs> oh, look. Ring for service. <laughs> <laughs> Good for serving. I like that. I like that. You know Tommy. Ah, yeah. We'd like to stay here, please. Well, stay there. All right, yeah. No, 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 no. Have you got a room? Of course, I've got a room. I've got to sleep somewhere, have I? For us. Have you got a room for us? All right. Well, you're in luck, man. Let me look. Look at that. Empty, 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 well, have you got the sweet? Of course I have. Let me say that. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Harry Kane, reminded me of someone, and it's Ross Abbott. Just take the biggest yeah, thing the out, uh, please. Now, we're going to pound 59. Top of board. Well, so am I. We don't hear me complaining. <laughs> 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 we're just, oh, Cooper, I do. Cooper, man. But yeah, that was, uh, that was <laughs> Cooper, man. 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 Cooper, my first Superman comic that I follow actually happened when this guy, John Byrne, who always worked for Marvel uh, for many years, went to work for DC. And that was in the 80s. And before that, Superman was the Superman in the films. Yeah. I never had any other Superman. But, so, he went to, to DC and I thought, well, you know, let's give it a try. So that was my first Superman in comics that I follow, and and you would you would have been a fan of, but and I was I was a fan of John Byrne from X Men and mm -hmm. from Marvel and etc. So that was my first story of Superman. And when in Spain that got published, they published also these two animals. That was that one. Oh, oh that's a good one. That's a good uh, one. Which is. Written by Alan Moore and drawn is that by that one? Dave yeah. Gibbons, which is for the man who has everything. And they also they publish this one, the yeah, whatever happened to the man of tomorrow. Oh right, the, good it mentioned. So look, this is that. That's that. Yeah, that's that. I knew that. That was so oh, yeah. tiny. It's mm. tiny, but he saw it. That's the thing. I knew that was the one. My son said, "Why's why Superman got evil eyes?" There, hmm. mm -hmm. he saw it that small, and it upset him. My son's like six, <laughs> and all he knows is Superman the movie and stuff. And then it's like Superman. I mean, he can barely make it out, but he can make it. Yeah. So yeah, those, so that, and then those stories. That was my first comic of Superman. And Had you seen the film or? I already seen the the, the films. <laughs> yeah, 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 the film, the films. yeah, the films came 
well before in Spain. But I mean, there were there were comics of Superman in Spain pretty for that. But I never kind of read them or picked them up. But that was the first one I started to kind in of follow. In English and Spanish. But these that you said were your first ones. Were they these English ones or were they in Spanish? They were all in Spanish. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Man, Man of Steel. Oh, I remember Man that. Was a big yeah, yeah. Deal at the time. Yeah. I like the wee, that was their, their revamp. Like the that was a revamp. Yeah, yeah. That was their revamp. Super right. one. Man of Steel one. And then they came this one as well. They did Action Comics Annual Number One. Of course, that the revamp came, uh, and that had Arthur Adams doing the art. Mm. And that had nice. Batman as well. It's a great cover, isn't it? Uh, it's yeah. just a it's nice, just a nice story. There's a good story. This one. A little bit of a mystery. Things are not what you think they are, and and it plays with certain ideas at the beginning, and you think, oh, what's going on? What's, you know. Then this series, All Star Superman. Uh, that was something more recent, from a few years ago, by Grant Morrison and Frank Wiley. This is a uh, 12 issues, um, and it's, I think it's been compiled in several editions. There's been like two books and a big one, etc. So there's the options available. But this is a, a really good Superman story. What happened and it's there? Like, I think I've read that. What happened there? Well, practically everything happened. So it's a. Uh, there's, because they're meeting Bizarro, they're fighting Lex Luthor, there's several things. In a way, it's kind of picking up moments from the Superman history and retail those tales, those stories. Is it Frank Quietly? Yes. Is it that one where the bound cover's like him coming down and he's, you know, it's like him descending feet first as if he's landing from flight? Yeah, like that, yeah. That one? Yeah. Oh, no. So, I'll give you... So, it's kind of... Because that's the same copy. <laughs> but at the back, I go a freebie. So, that's the same one. Right, so this is the same one. Yeah. It's a different cover. Oh, thanks. That. Another of my favourites. So yeah. Superman. And and this is more like a... Yeah, like, yeah, we were talking right. about elsewhere mm -hmm. and what is... Is... Superman Red Sun. Yeah, that's a good one. And the writer is uh, Mark Miller, and there's few artists, Dave Johnson, Killian Plunkett. What, did he land in Russia? In what South America? Yeah, essentially. Oh, what right. happened if Superman, instead of landing in the United States of America, would have landed in, in it's Europe? A nice, uh, it's uh, a nice emblem, that. It's a nice... Um, yeah. And it's the, the details, the design, the... It's actually a really entertaining graphic novel. This is probably one of the best ones that Mark Miller has done. Certainly one of my favourites. Well, he's in love with Lois Lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they keep switching that recently. I don't like that. Nah. Well, does he have a Tinder profile? What does okay. he do? No, he's, he's been getting on with Wonder Woman recently. Right. Well, why not? Mm. You can carry on with Wonder Woman. Why would you? <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> Maybe you land a car. Is he married right? still with Superman? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a whole new set of stories that are out that's like the, the Superman family. And Certainly in the... Just like family stories that are apparently really right. fun. And it's the action... Him is... The like action... Yeah, right. and the action comics... Yeah. 1000, uh, there's a story and the sun appears. I remember the time to end with the, the TV show at the time. Like, I think at the same time... The TV show. Uh, the Adventures of, of Lois and Clark. And Clark. Terry, Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher. So I think they got, they got married on the show at the same time. Hard <laughs> <time. laughs> <Hard love. laughs> <Arf, arf. laughs> He's a handsome chap. <laughs> Definitely one of the better Supermen there's ever been. I like to be short. Mm -hmm. I like to be short. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but then Terry Hatcher isn't exactly huge. So. What? Hey. <laughs> oh, I see. What did you think of it? I don't know, I thought you were the spars in Terry. Oh no, I was not. No, I don't think I was going to like it. But the only reason I watched this for this is. <laughs> Do you know, I remember that series starting and it was close enough to this Christopher Reeve. I think maybe he was the first Superman up after Christopher Reeve. Yeah. yeah and of course I was like, 
Yeah, what's going on there? Did a good job. No, no, looking back on it, and you know, he was perfectly good. You, know, yeah, he's you, you watch these things, the making of Superman the movie and all that, or the, the looking back on it, and Christopher Reeves always sitting there being nice, you know, saying, I was the custodian of a character for a while, blah, blah. And I just think, it's nice that you're saying that, but you're Superman. You're Superman, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very true. Superman, yeah. <coughs> I'm sure the new guys could. I've never seen any of the Man of Steel or anything. No, he's not. I don't like him, personally. Well, I don't like what you're what, I'm killing Zor and all that. No, he killing can't loads be, of people in, he, the, he in, the, in the city and all that. Yeah. That's, no. He technically kills Zor. He technically killed Zor in two as well, didn't he? I remember yeah. you said that before. And, yeah, it's hard to argue against, but it never occurred to me. Just so pushed him down a bit hole. That was that. Flushed him down the lav. Yeah. You know, Superman ah. must just stand there and pee, right? I mean, <laughs> he doesn't have to go to the loo. He, he's never got a wee room somewhere, is he, in that fortress of solitude? <laughs> Why would he bother? He's there on his own. He just stand well, he has there. to have somewhere to guess, doesn't it? He? he can't send the guest to go up. It's in the, uh, down the cliff edge. I think he just keeps it in. Mm. Like or he does a super piss and go, I'm not getting this drop, I'm getting the drop two 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 glaciers on <laughs> with his with his super distance. Oh, so he probably doesn't need to pee, does it? He yeah, probably his physiognomy or breathe or drink or yeah, yeah, that's just evaporate it out, whatever. Like, there won't be anything in him because he doesn't drink or eat. Doesn't eat. No, so he doesn't have to. Oh, he doesn't right. eat. No. Or drink. So it's news to us. Mm. He doesn't need to eat or drink. Can shit. he though? Can, can he? Uh, he doesn't need to sleep. Oh yeah, he can. He can if he wants to. He can eat like a horse. <laughs> super horse. And he shaves. Was there a super horse? Quite nice. There's a super Being dog. dog. I remember that though, the super dog. He's very well done in that last Alan Moore story. He gets a good bit. Uh, I'd like to know how that works. Cut to the super because dog. it's supposed to be heat vision. Yeah. No, laser vision. It was laser vision. Yeah, so you can't it turn it with a with mirror or a prism. But heat, you cannot. Yeah. You yeah. melt. <laughs> you <laughs> it. So I want, I want that explained. I also don't know if, if he's able, if he's able to get all the. What did you get a look at that? If he's able to take yes. all the hair off of his chin, how doesn't he melt his hand? Exactly. Because he doesn't do it off his head. No, I don't know. There's not a lot of stuff you've just got to leave to. This you go, okay, stop. Okay, stop. Someone stop. decided stop. that. Stop. 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 Can Superman easily break a human's bones? That's what he was at. He asked me today. I went, yeah. Yeah. He can. Easily. It's a good question. Can Superman... It, it, it's, does everything feel like a feather to Superman? For lifting it up. It's that kind of thing as yeah. well. Like, yeah. You know how the Dragon Ball characters get over that? They have them powering up. So, at rest, their strength is quite modest. And then they stand there for ages roaring and their power goes up to <laughs> Superman levels. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, uh, the Dragon Ball characters. You got a new tattoo there, Tom? Oh. Yeah, I've got a couple. I've got quite a few. Is that, is that the name? Yeah. Put the blood on it. Mm -hmm. What's the other one? Uh, can, can you see? Yeah, not Billy Connolly. Oh, look, it's Billy Connolly. Big Jane. Holy moly, Andy's got his uh, purple. Yeah, he was the last minute thing to put his purple in. <laughs> yeah. I've got a couple on the leg as well, I can't get the trouser leg up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you get a Superman tattoo? Yeah, I, I think if I was ever going to get a Superman, I would have to get a Superman. I would have to get actual Superman himself, not just like a logo or yeah, anything like that. It'd have to be good. I'd probably get Superman and Crypto. Oh, yeah. Just like, like about the super dog is cool, eh? Yeah. There, there was a crypto super dog cartoon. I saw that. Was yeah. it? Yeah. That was, that was quite enjoyable. <laughs> so I'm kind of the same with Batman as well. I'd probably get Batman super and the uh, Ace. And Ace. Did you bring any with you? Just said that. Sorry? Did you bring any with No. No. I don't really have. Maybe. Right. I... I did have that one that... I just realised tonight I don't have any more. <laughs> but then it's got the adaptation. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's something that I didn't have a lot of issues when I was a kid, but I was first really introduced to it with uh, 
the nicotine caused this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, there was little videos of nicotine as well. Him fighting, uh, well, him saying, you know, don't have a cigarette. Don't have a cigarette. And then there was the uh, the films, obviously. That's yeah. And that was pretty That's much me in love with it, but I didn't really have that many actual comics of it. But you know, that's that suits for me. That was my Yeah. That was that was my that Superman was as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean exactly like I looked in my catalogue, yeah. I've probably got a few Superman comics but not a not a real abundance or anything that I can even remember. Was that Christmas one that I borrowed off? Was that a Superman Christmas special that I borrowed off one of you guys? I mean, Dave. Dave. Is it a Superman? No, there was the big DC Universe. No, was that oh, one that you got? Wasn't there the con? Oh yeah. What was that again? Was that yeah. Santa gets stuck and wants him out or something like that? <laughs> something like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. He's up, yeah. in, he's up in the North Pole at the Fortress of Solitude, there, and, and, and he meets. Santa Claus. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. Really I forgot that. That was good, yeah. Got to see But my mum worked in a in a in a health centre. So we were able to occasionally occasionally there used to happen to be excess Superman mm -hmm. against nicotine posters. But occasionally and you that couldn't them. find wall space, so occasionally we'd get them. And they were great, obviously, had it on because they were like big and stuff, having a Superman poster. Yeah. Brilliant. He did put me off smoking for <laughs> quite a number of years. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've just been re watching them recently with my son, the Superman film. Tomorrow, maybe Superman 4, could watch. I've never seen it, funnily enough. It's an experience. Never seen <laughs> it. I've read the reviews that it's really, really bad and stuff, but I'm <laughs> so hoping that you said. Obviously, that uh, it's his yeah. favourite, isn't it? It did used to be. Or it did used to be. Yeah, because it had a, there's a bit in it where it's on the tubes, you know, the underground. Right. And we go up with control and Superman stops them. And that was really what got him into it, because he was into the tubes. <laughs> and he liked the music, and he always liked the theme. Yeah. It was a very powerful theme, isn't it? Yeah. Even the theme on Superman 4 is like a wee dinky verse in it. I mean, it's is like it? somebody stole, the background of Superman 4, somebody stole half the money, half the budget. That's right. Oh, really? And exactly. So like, they ended up having, but they were committed, so they had to go ahead and make it. So like, Because it's different producers as well, isn't it? It's not yes. the salt kind they, they, anymore. They it's sold up, yeah, and just gave it to Canon. Yeah. Uh, but it, it was such an odd film at the time when it came out, because you were sitting going, how come the effects in this are worse than the ones in the first film from 10 years ago? I mean, it was so confusing. It was weird. Right. I mean, they're it, terrible. There's it? scenes in it that are just mm -hmm. awful. Oh, no. There, there's yeah. a scene... But, I mean, I don't think that bothers you when you're a kid. Yeah, yeah but I mean, that's the thing. Stuff. Will he know it? He won't know it. that, will he? There is one bit in there, though. <laughs> and you saw... Did I just see that? There's a bit where... Because it's Nuclear Man. Yeah. So that Superman and Nuclear Man fighting in space. And there's a bit... There is, and they've actually, you can see that they've, they've been fighting standing on, and, and they've filmed them from above and then they've just put that <laughs> on the screen and they're in space and you can actually see them like, like they're, they're standing on the ground, you know. Right. It's a bit of the panel comes off, off, doesn't it? When the uh, 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 Atom Man throws a punch. And you can tell he's standing on a square panel because it goes out of shape. Oh, okay. So you can see the... <coughs> it's, so, it's so bad that you can actually see the bit through oh, the God. panels. They just didn't have the budget. Yeah. They were talking about um, scenes of them flying. And, they were, and I remember somebody talking about it saying, like, but, you know, that, that was so... It wasn't digital, you know. They had to film it, put it over the film, and then look and see, nah, that one didn't work. Go back and do it again. Yeah. And that's why they ended up spending millions and millions. But they didn't... So it was like, didn't quite work. Well, we've not got any more money. So that had to be it. That was the and, best and, deal. And they used the same shot of them flying on the screen that's written mm -hmm. film about six times. Oh, God. I mean, it's, it's unreal. It's like, it sounds like that's that galactic all over again. Really and, and it's funny, because... Uh, I think there's a commentary on it, on, on that, and they're talking about how really this was them after Superman 3, 
I thought, no, we'll have to. You know, they're always going to make it more like the first one. As the, as every series goes along, they're like, yeah. they try and do different things. And then they're always this one's more like the original. So four was going to be more like the first. More one. comic booky, whatever. Right. And uh, apparently, there's like half an hour missing from it. Apparently, yeah. Lex Luthor yeah, they put all creates that. another guy yeah. before. And that was all. Built, that's all in the Superman Four comic that came up. Right. Mm-hmm. Seen with them fighting the the super villain, uh, and it was always this legendary stuff that cut out and it sounded good, you know. But then they put it on the DVD, and it was like that wasn't good, you know. <laughs> was that? And they've got this silly music on it. Oh shit! <laughs> Hopefully it won't. <laughs> Right, that's, you know, you know that's quite like a, 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 a nice bit of magic at the moment for Superman. It's no, nice I think he'll it. like it. And it right. I think he won't. Because he's the music, he's not singing it. Not good, he's humming it every single day to himself. Yeah. Every single day, all day. I think he won't like it. And he right. might like it even more because it's more... Just cartoonish it's not, ish, kind of. You know, the first film has got all that mythic, you know. It's like a real... Yeah, epic. there's a lot of depth oh, to it, yeah. Whereas this one, they like... It's just, yeah. There's Nuclear Man, there's Superman, Punch, you know. Yeah, and I mean, there's. That's yeah. As I said, and the amazing thing part. is that everybody's in it. That's what always gets me about four. Everybody came back practically, you know. Yeah. Reeve, Margot Kidder. Was Gene Hackman? Gene Hackman's in it, back his legs, Luther, you know, it's ridiculous. The guy. Uh, well, that's probably where a lot of the money went, wasn't it? Money 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 money. Like <laughs> to no. pay for the big names. Well, um, Gene Hackman can't have been cheap then. Christopher Reeve was kind of uh, in charge of that film. Uh, was it? No, he came back. He really? came back as a. They all came back as a favour, like to help Christopher Reeve. You know, he talked them all into doing it. So right. they all went, "All right, we'll come back and do it." Oh, and then it. And then that guy stole all the money. So who is this guy that stole all the money? Can't remember his name. He's one of the producers. Yeah, he stole all the money. Did they ever get? Did they ever get him or what? Uh, do him for? No, it's full of crooks, isn't it? Hollywood. Okay. Mm. Margot Kidder came back for yeah, that. Yes, she's in it. Mm-hmm. Because she um she fell apart. Mm. Yeah, that was a bit later. Yeah, it must have been she, a bit later. Yeah, uh, 90s, I think she fell apart. This was like late 80s. Mm. Superman yeah, 4. That yeah. came out and a lot of people never noticed. I never knew it either. Yeah, it, was yeah. Yeah. it wasn't a hit, it was a disaster. Mm. Was his hair. Was his hair. <laughs> That's my comment. Was his hair. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a lot of my comics have got maybe scribbles on them. And um, the other thing that I would uh, Superman for me, them bubblegum cards, yeah, tops, bubblegum mm. cards. Yeah, I had a few of them and I loved them. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get some tonight when I get back. I saw some on eBay. Oh, is anyone want to uh, quick look at my uh, my ones? Yeah, um, yeah just like Giuseppe, I, I didn't read too much Superman. Superman. I see them more often in cartoons than. Uh, That's a more recent book, isn't it? I've seen yep. this. There's a wonder one as well. Um, yeah, I like the size and format, it's nice. The British Annuals one. They're just brilliant. Yeah. Nando's already shown you guys this one. Yeah. But, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in before. Go for it, yeah, go for it. I've got one. It's got everyone's favourite twat in it. Yeah, Guy Gardner's in Everyone's this. Favorite. Yeah, Guy Gardner is in this one. So it's uh, the build up the build up to the death of Superman. He's not in his he's not in his uh, uniform. No, no. He's, but he's, he has a yellow ring as well. But his uh, his head is now back to normal, so yeah. uh, he's full of insults. So this is the death of Superman. Yeah, correct on right. and I think a lot of people would remember that. This. You guys remember this? I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was in the news. news. Yeah. Yeah. It's in the news. news. It's in the news. It's the news. It's the news. It's everywhere. The death of Superman. So that's that's when I bought that. I thought, yeah, this will be this will be amazing. It's like Superman's gone, and there won't be any more Superman comics. So you better get the last one. <laughs> and then of course there were lots of Supermen came yeah. afterward. But that kind of that was one of the powers that was added on. It's like an Adam Warlock. He was able to uh, re- recuperate and regenerate, and then he came back a lot more powerful. Yeah, it was, yeah. A, it, was a, it was a Christ-like... So was he dead? No. He was close to it, but he was able to uh, uh, recharge, basically. 
he uh, regained a lot of his strength and he came back a lot stronger than uh, other times. But but at that point, there'd been lots of other supermen, like clones or yeah, cyborgs and mm -hmm. all kind of things. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But Green Arrow died too and got got brought back, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Kevin and Smith brought him back. And serious. That's really pushing the silly envelope, I yeah. think, by the time. Guy Gardner is a popular topic here, uh, <laughs> and here he is, and uh, the way many uh, superheroes like to see him, yeah. lying there with a black eye. Yeah. Well, he gets mm -hmm. absolutely battered. Yeah. Oh, I want him doing that. Yeah, see that nice. Muhammad Ali picture there? You notice how every single celebrity is there is listed, except for John Wayne. Because oh. uh, at the time, John Wayne didn't give permission to have his image right. put on, and he refused to have himself pictured there, so they'd already drawn John Wayne in there, so what they did is they put a big moustache on him. Um, mm. I'll show you which one he is. Big John Wayne. Yeah, he's right in the front. There he is, with the moustache. So when you look at, look at the yeah, list, let's have a look, yeah. and he's blank. It has a little bit of the eyes there, yeah. So you see the list, there's no number to him. Remember the, the Superman versus Spider-Man? Ah, favorite um, Sorry, what was that? So that's the Superman Superman versus Spider-Man oh, crossover. This week? Yeah, probably the first one. I've the second one. Oh, better on my old loins. <laughs> Cushion seat. Nice. There's really a Superman, Superman uh, Hulk, did they not? Yeah, now that's about the 90s, there so were lots of I crossovers. I think, I think uh, my, my lads asked me Superman against Hulk, who would win. Well, that's a tough one. That's a tough one, because Hulk is the strongest there is. Superman well, versus Hulk. I said to him, Hulk's the strongest, but it's not just about strength. Sorry, <coughs> it's been so long since I've read most of these, I don't actually have a lot to say on them in the slightest because I've oh. kind of forgotten a lot of the oh, stories. Yes. I was flicking through them the other night um, with Graham and I was saying I honestly can't remember half of this as I was going through it. Oh. Can't remember most of the characters. Death of Superman I know back to front right. because it was like my first and it's probably one of the ones that I've read the most and I always mention it whenever we mention anything to do with the Justice League because it's... As I said before, it's like the Justice League International that's in it. So they mm -hmm. were the Justice League in my head for the yeah. longest amount of time. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I saw what the Justice League was meant to be, and I started thinking, this doesn't make any sense. Like, who's the guy that's um, yeah. him, uh, Blood, what's his name? Blood Wing. Wing or something like that. Something along those lines, I can't remember. But I would always look at the Justice League and be like, where's, where's that guy? Where's, where's Booster? Where's, where's yeah. Blue Beetle? What's happening here? Um, and Guy Gardner and he's green. I was like, where's the black leather jacket? What's happening? Um, <laughs> can't breathe. Um, but yeah, Death of Superman, it's really strange that that would end up being one of my first. And yeah, and you're like, did you think, oh fuck, I've just, just, just started this and it's Well, no, because as you said, I think I'd maybe seen the Chris Reeve film. Right. And so. In my head, Superman had always been around. Right. Even though I'd never read any Superman. So when it came to the death of Superman... Oh yeah, I forget that. Um, when it came to the death of Superman, I didn't really think much of it. And then I read it and was just... I don't know, I never thought he was dead. I just never ever thought he was dead. You never bought it? No, not in the slightest. Even though he was for a wee while. Mm. It was very bombastic. Like the whole thing is just a lot about. There, there's not really much of a story to it at all, and there's just like so much throwaway stuff in it. Yeah. But I still love it to this day, and I don't know why because it's not even really that good. No, but well, it's it's not a is it? Not yeah. Mm. You've got affection for it. It's just. It was so <laughs> <hard. laughs> <laughs> locked you. <laughs> <laughs> he's not up to much like John Lowe, he's not going about it. I think he's a good one, isn't he? Is it? He's the one that's that big bulldog that's in that series. Um, they did really report series. it. Yeah, it's like Superman will end it, and that's it. Yeah. Come on. But I guess they didn't know that this was just regular kind of... Well, that's weird, Al. Um, is that kind of... 
Tracks, you know. Yeah, to sell it. Mm. And then one of the things to run was just the aftermath of that. So I haven't Cartoony really, and very CGI kind of. I haven't really read as much of uh, the world of the Superman. I've read the stuff that came after when the four Superman came back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember Steel. that. Steel. Four Superman. Yeah. yeah. St- Steel. Superboy. S- Superboy. Uh, it was the, 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 cyborg the cyborg one and then the other one with the glasses. Yeah. And then actual Superman came out yeah. with his black suit. With a mullet. Yeah, with a mullet. Yeah, you all of a sudden had the mullet. There's the guy I was on about. His name's Jose in this. I can't remember. He's got the suit. Guardian. Guardian, right. The Guardian. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, and the had Supergirl was like a weird putty character. Like when she got yeah, down, it was she a became like putty. Thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then she would transform back into Supergirl. Yeah. She was with Lex Luthor, who's got a, like a lion's mane of red hair, which was, mm. oh, I don't know. I just got really confused. Like, because I knew the characters somehow. But still, I don't know, it's really weird. I knew the characters the way they should be, but still read it as like one of my first books and still didn't think anything of it. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah so it is. Well, yeah, at that time, the, the, yeah. Yeah. so many things changed and added. Well, and it's got zero technology. I know. You know, <laughs> the essential Superman is, was kind of, certain points were lost. Yeah. There is some good visuals in it though. I mean, like Shazam, mm-hmm. Cap, sorry, Captain Marvel coming in. Mm-hmm. Like flying in with the rest of the kind of the, some of the Titans and Justice League down there. Is he the guy that has the piss taken out of him in Justice League? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's really a boy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> that bit was some good writing, did that? Yeah, just, there's just, some good visuals. I mean, it's uh, at the end of the day, it's not the best stories in the world, but I, like you say, I really liked them because they were. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I really liked them because it's nostalgic because it was like some of the first ones. So, so that is the Lex Luthor, the red hair. Yeah, yeah, well, that's him. Yeah. And he has a whole monologue in it as well. Of at the very start, he's like in a in a dojo or something. He's fighting some guy, and he's saying to himself, you know, damn, I can't believe this thing beat Superman. It was meant to be me and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> and he's he's fighting this guy. But it's it's just weird, but it's it's, it's great. I love it. Uh, the Doomsday Wars was when Doomsday then started to just become a totally underpowered and overplayed character. That was to the point where they were literally just shoving him in. Is uh, that Doomsday? The one yeah, that was in there? That kills him, yeah. But That's he came I'm back that many times after that. Like They would just bring him back as like an entity that had come from another universe or whatever. And then he'd just be beaten so easily. This whole story is like they'll, they'll all go up against him and then Superman just kind of throws him out into space and then that's it. It's just, it's just so yeah. like after all that, and you know he's the thing that finally killed Superman, and then they just make him into this laughable character after right. that. He's just nothing. Yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, but it's just another excuse to watch him fight Doomsday again, and it's, right. it's done within a second. There's these couple of pages. There's another couple of pages after that, and then he just kind of throws him out into the in, into space and. Done. Yeah, put, 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 it's done. Yeah, yeah, puts him in like a capsule, mm. throws him up on some far distant planet, and then that's it, he's done. You never see him again, kind of thing. That was in one of the cartoon but films. Same, yeah, but it's the same guy, like Dan Jurgens mm. was on Death Superman, and he did the Doomsday yeah. Wars as well. Oh, right, right. That's a bit Just funny. a couple of years later, maybe like 10 years later or something like that. The editorial dictate. So that was two, year, two years later, that. <laughs> That was two years later. Oh. Uh, no, I think that's like ten years. Ten years later. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's like ten years later anyway. Mm. Um, if I remember rightly. I mean, that was Death of Superman was what late eighties. Yeah, was it not early nineties? It wasn't the nineties. Early nineties. Ninety two. Uh, I think that was definitely. This is 98, 99. What was it? I thought it was two thousands. Yeah. I got this from James oh, Stens and uh, that one. In the corner. I oh, said so just under ten. Just under ten. Years in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, I remember James Sins used to be in, uh, in that oh, corner where they were the banks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you go downstairs and there were graphic novels were occasionally beside art books. Mm. Mm. 92, 93. Yeah, yeah so mm. eight years or something like that. So, uh, that. Five, six years. Yeah. So they, no they just made that. him a laughable character after yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. He'd, had, he'd had other stories after that as well. It was yeah, yeah, it was in 
There was a Doomsday series for a while. Um, what's Doomsday's? Uh, what's the deal with him? What, what, is he from? what is he and where's he from? You've done this, and in order to justify this, I, I think you shouldn't touch it. Okay, so there's Superman, is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. It's Doomsday. It's terrible. That's it. Yeah. And then we just. Uh, the more times you bring it, the less. The more that you are really defacing this. Yeah. Well, the thing, the thing. And whether you like it or not, that's a different story. But you know, if you done this and this is important yeah. comic, then skip the story. That's it. Don't go back. Mm -hmm. Do something else. It's like when they had the ball game on the Star Trek Next Generation. That first episode, and the really. We're telling me the Borg were this unstoppable thing, and oh no, yeah. it's the Borg, and they, f they just managed to get away from it. Oh, so every time they brought the Borg back again, it just, they yeah, just, it yeah, yeah, and then but the card became a Borg, yeah, and then they undid him as a Borg. So it's the same thing. It's, it's like just, not yeah, yeah. cool. Like he's mean. Get him back, but you know, it just doesn't doesn't do anything after that. Yeah. Um, yeah, as far as you were saying, Giuseppe, I don't know where. Doomsday's original idea what came was? from. In, in the death of Superman, he's literally just a creature that breaks out from an underground prison. Oh, but, right. But from the CIA facility? No idea. He's just in an underground prison. In the oh, right. That's, that's the opening. Oh, they don't give the any... Is that the first time you see him? This yeah. Doomsday the character? Yeah. The opening, right. the opening pages is just somewhere else. Doomsday is coming and it's him smashing out of a prison. Right. So Doomsday was created as a character... To, to kill Superman, to kill Superman. Superman. Right, yeah. that was his first right, right. And then after that, it was like they tried. I don't know if they've maybe done his origin or whatever since, but he was just this random. And he was made like he was all wrapped up in like big wires and stuff to make him look extra dangerous. Like this thing was trying to break out of this. Yeah. This secure prison in this. I've never read it. I've never read the Death of Superman story. It's one I don't think I particularly enjoy because I don't like the notion of. It's just, it's it's, there's some good visuals in it. <laughs> there is, uh, there is the, some good... Don't shout out to your song, because we'll get very upset. I know. It's very upset. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 really, it's very I upset. I can't a story about that too. Um, Superman Transformed was the whole time when they started to do Batman as... Kine uh, Batman? Superman as uh, kinetic energy, so just before the red and blue, when he splits into the two different entities. I just I've never read that. I just like collect, I like collecting these because I like the thought of them changing them up a wee bit. I enjoyed that whole kinetic energy Superman within mm. the GLA run. I remember them being blue. Yeah, I see. I like I like that in the GLA run because they just wrote it in a different. They wrote it a bit differently so that they could get out of different situations. So I'm kind of. So you spot in two? Did you say? He eventually splits into two into red and blue. Right. The energy becomes too much and he has to become two blue. separate entities. I don't remember red. Superman. Uh, yeah. There's and the thing is, yeah. And then does he merge again? That. And then he merges again and becomes Superman again. It happens actually in between this run. So you've got a uh, JLA Volume One, he starts off as the mullet wielding Superman. And then This is when he's back from the dead. Yeah. And then, well, he'd been back for a while. Right. Probably. And then, all of a sudden, uh, in between here, there is a point when Superman comes in to visit Batman, and he's all of a sudden in this kinetic energy suit. And even Batman comments saying, uh, interesting outfit. And he's like, these are interesting times. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's all that's said on it. Uh -huh. And he just comes in as this kinetic mm -hmm. energy. And then, he's like that for most of Volume 2, and then it's like somewhere near the end of volume two, he's just all of a sudden back to being. Superman so what's again. the reason given for him being this kinetic energy? There was a whole, there's a whole, a uh, set of issues where he starts. I don't know something like he gets too overpowered by the sun or something like that, and his molecular composition starts to go haywire right. and then he just gets too energised and then becomes something entirely Can different. I ask you a question that has bothered me from when I was a kid and my, my lads asked me the same question that I, I couldn't understand it myself but the answer was maybe you'll all go oh but it's for this reason and I'll go fuck why did I do that <laughs> but no why is Krypton why does it damage Superman so much Kryptonite 
Yeah. Give the night. Why? Why is it? Why is it? It's like us being on Mars and a chunk from Earth gets on Mars. It's like, oh fuck! There's a sandstorm. Yeah. Well, there's not been as many as there. There's always been as many as well. When Krypton got destroyed, yeah. why got destroyed? Got destroyed for some sort of changes, geological changes in right. the planet. And then the kryptonite is nuclear or radioactive. Oh, right. So it's minerals from, from right. Krypton so it's that have traveled. It. Oh, and and, that, kind of and, and because it's like from it. his the same origin, molecular structure, etc., he damaged Superman or, or something like it that. Him, right? Really. It makes no sense right. why the, the, his origin planet is going to kill him. Yeah. And then when he's actually, he's in an alien planet, Earth, he actually is stronger than ever because of the yellow sun. Of our sun, yeah. You know, there's not really an right. explanation. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually quite... The Zod affected in the same way. Yeah, he's a Kryptonian too. Any Kryptonian is supposed to yellow sunlight, they oh. become super. Mm. Yeah. So does that not mean as soon as but, but, but if they are exposed to a red sunlight then they lose their powers uh, yeah because their sun was red wasn't it yeah, yeah. the red sun of Krypton mm-hmm. That's, uh, and the same happened in the this universe the same happened to the Dashamites from Dasham mm-hmm. Monel from the Legion of Superheroes same powers as Superboy if he's exposed to yellow sunlight he becomes you know, he's a superhero, but in his case, what kills him is lead. Hmm. Lead? Lead. Instead of kryptonite, it's lead. Hmm. Superman cannot see through lead. Yeah. Monel actually is poisonous for him. Wow. Oh. So, all this curious. Has anyone seen that Supergirl film that was made from. The oh, was it many, good m- or many, any many thoughts, months any ago. memories? My memory of it is that it Besides had, the had a whole other backstory. She was on a different planet and everything. She wasn't oh, on, was not a, a, oh, she yeah. on any of the crypto yeah. from Superman the movie. It was like this whole other world with other people oh, around. Right. I also remember she had a poster of Christopher Reeve as Superman on a wall. Oh, right. But anyway, that was to make the connection. And Jimmy Olsen's in it. The, the guy that's Jimmy Olsen in the Superman films, he's in the Supergirl. As Jimmy yeah. Olsen? Yeah, All he's right. got quite a big part in it. Going on with photographer. Yeah, I'm Jimmy Olsen, blah, blah. And, the, and I remember there's, <laughs> a wee, there's a wee bit on the radio and they say someone like, uh, and Superman is still out in the cosmos, uh, battling, do, doing this mission. Blah, blah. They mention him. Like why he's not around? Oh no! Like, right. A wee bit on the radio. You get, you get, a, you get a, an explanation. As yeah, to just that. in passing. It's in the, it's on the radio in the background. Uh, what else? I think Peter O'Toole's on it. What? <laughs> really? Yeah. And yeah, Fade on away. Yeah, they have the that the moment that of. I don't know. Peter Dunham, Fade Anna, Supergirl, Man of Dad, I don't know. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I'll have to get that for him. Oh, what's that? Yeah, years. Yeah, I suppose. Um, it's seriously been like three decades since yeah. I've seen it. Uh, yeah, so I never finished what I was saying, but yeah, at the end of the day, like a lot of the stuff that I've got is like the stuff that people don't like about Superman. Mm-hmm. It's like he's mid nineties to two thousands era that mm-hmm. people really hate of Superman where they were just churning out any old crap. And it's funny because the name that comes up a lot on them is uh, Jurgens, Dan Jurgens. Yeah. His name seems to come up quite a lot on a lot of them. Um like he's he's tied with the death Superman, he's on the the doomsday stuff, he's on all the He's just had to destroy Superman. Superman. I think it just I think Jurgens just had a, a, a time where he had to just kind of pump out anything that DC wanted him to do kind of thing so he's not a bad artist or writer or whatever you know what I mean? like he's so that's the two supermen there that's the two of them yeah it's when the energy became too much harnessed in one because well, this was the whole point the too much energy was from building what? up from what from I think him coming ta- back I think he'd taken too I think he'd taken too much energy off of the sun after coming back from dying oh. and then was he was getting too he was getting too pent up too so, Pro plus. Yeah, basically. So he became pure energy 
and then the energy was getting too much, so he, he was forced to split like an atom into two entities, and then eventually he was able to harness it and come back together. I think it was something like that. I don't want to. I don't want to say that, and then somebody come back like, "Oh, you're wrong." That was that was good. A lot of the rolling in Superman. Superman just like a cross. Yeah. To send us any comments or questions or just to say hello, you can reach us by email at thatcomicsmell at gmail.com. We're also available on Instagram and Twitter at thatcomicsmell. Share the podcast with your friends and followers. We're available on YouTube, SoundCloud and iTunes. And don't forget to rate, review and subscribe. Thanks for listening. Our music is by Chart Smasher a.k.a. John Adam. You can find John on Twitter at Joanidam and you can buy the track Dial-Up on Bandcamp.